My name is Tina Liu. I'm an environmental science major at Columbia College, and I work with Jerry McManus at the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory. I'm interested in looking at how climate changes throughout time. So in 100,000 year intervals, there are, we call them glacial interglacial cycles, and I'm looking at how those uh, relate to the biological pump in the ocean. The biological pump takes atmospheric carbon dioxide and it sequesters it in the ocean. So basically photosynthesis takes the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and those um, are sequestered into the surface ocean and with the biological pump the carbon is sequestered into the deep ocean. My research is relevant to us because, as you know, the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is very concentrated right now. It's at 400 ppm and it's only increasing throughout time. Um, so what I found through my research is that the biological pump is weak during interglacials when it's very warm. So if it keeps on getting warmer, then the biological pump is going to keep on getting weaker. So that means that the ocean is less reliable for sequestering the carbon dioxide that we have in the atmosphere. Uh, this is the core repository where scientists store sediment cores. So they drill into ocean sediments and also peatlands or wetlands and also rocks. And this is where they store those sediments. So this is a map of all the places that Lamont scientists have taken cores from. All the dots are uh, individual cores that they've taken. Right now we're in the microscope room where we pick the specimen that we're actually interested in from the sediment cores. The specimen that we're interested in are foraminifera and those are protists. Um, and they leave behind this cal calcium carbonate shell uh, in the sediment and they're very good preservers and indicators of climate and how climate changes throughout time. Um, so we take one centimeter samples from the entire core and we wash them and then put them in these little bags. And after that, we put them in this tray and then we find the specimen of the, we find the species of the foramen to collect and analyze later. We differentiate between the species by their physical features, like how many chambers they have, um, where is their aperture located, and basically the overall shape of the forum. I think it's very important for students especially to get involved in research. Um, whether it might be in chemistry or biology or environmental science, because once you're very involved in your research project, you start to see the effects of it on the world and um, you become more familiar with the project and it inspires you to do more and more research and eventually you can make something out of it. You can do outreach, you can communicate your findings to other students, other scientists, or people who might be totally unfamiliar with your project. 